Of course, we've had another busy week, probably not as busy as this week coming up, but uh, we had quite a few events. Um, so Dorney Lake we had in the south, so we had our uh, runs, so 5k, 10k, half marathon, and then also the triathlon, which you were at, you said you yeah, enjoyed it. Was, it. It was a good one, it was a good day, it was very, very windy, mm -hmm. but it was a good day, it was good fun. Was good there fun. was lots of you out there. It was, a lot. it was very busy, it was always yeah. such a yeah. And then of course in the north we had our Titusworth Ultra, which was a huge event, um, as well as the half marathon. Mm -hmm. um, and there was lots of you that did really great things on the photos. It looked amazing. They were incredible. I love it. Yeah. It was great. Next year we're Next all going to be there. No events for the south please, because we'll all be, <laughs> be back up there in the trails. Uh, so yeah, we had a, a really huge weekend and of course we've got plenty more, but before we go into that week, we want to go to the Wall of Fame to celebrate everything you guys have been up to. So we'll get cracking and we're going to go uh, start off with Danny here, who as we were talking about, we had the ultra at the weekend and he was very first ultra ever, which is insane. 50 kilometres you did at Titusworth, which was amazing. It's incredible. And um, the photo looks amazing as well. So I was super jealous when I saw everyone's pictures because you all look really happy climbing that hill. It's yeah, scary. No one looked like happy <laughs> climbing that hill. That was a steep hill. Climb. Yeah. <laughs> all smiling at the top. But yeah, massive well done, Danny. Huge, huge achievement. So well done. Yeah, well done. Next, we move on to Dorney Half from the weekend with the lovely Ali. So Ali has actually done a couple of pacing events with us um, in Hampton Court and at Goodwood, so she's very well known to us. Um, she did the half marathon, practicing her pacing. I know you were a little bit off what you wanted to be, but you, like, you had fun, you were smiling at the beginning and the end, which is always amazing. Um, and yeah, we love to see you. So well done and come and see us soon, please. Yeah, well, I'll always see you there on the Instagram doing loads of amazing love things. It. So yeah, well done. And next up here we had Simon who also ran his first ever ultra um, and this was the, the Nantwich Running Club that posted your photo. Again, another great photo with you smiling at the top of this incredible hill there with a nice view behind you. So massive well done to you. It's it's a long way and it looks very hilly, so great work on the first and hopefully not the ugly. Well done. And next up we are back at Dorney um, with the lovely Alexandra who did the half marathon. So she smashed her PB. Her previous one was 1.53, and on Sunday she had 1.47.10, which in those winds, oh wow, incredibly impressive. But it was it was very windy to the point I was slightly concerned that people were going to blow away as well as equipment. So to do 1.47 on that is very very impressive. Yeah. So amazing work. Well done. Come back and see us soon. Hopefully it'll be less windy next time, mm -hmm. and you can go even quicker. Yeah, massive well work. Done. Finishing with a smile as well, which is what we want to see. Of course, there's plenty more of you that have done really incredible things this weekend. We couldn't shout out to all of you, but well done to anyone who took park over park part over the weekend. So yeah, well done. And we've got plenty more in the back. Plenty more. We've got another really busy weekend. So on Wednesday we had our Olympic Park Chase the Sun event, five and ten k. And at the weekend we've got Chepstow Running Festival in the north slash Midlands and then Brilliance Park 5 and 10k in the south which is always a popular one. And then on Sunday we have got our run in Aintree which is always a good one. Mm -hmm. And Wimbledon Half down in the south so very very busy. Lots of events. We as usual don't have the north medals but we do have the south medals. And again I know I say this every week but the Wimbledon one is my new favourite. But we'll start with Regents. Very good medal. So, this week. Regents, this one, nice little giraffe there, little monkey in the bottom. <laughs> I love that one. And it's all about the monkey. <laughs> my new fave, Wimbledon half, complete with one ball. If you don't Matches want to, like, oh, it does actually, <laughs> almost. But yeah, nice Wimbledon one right there. So, as usual, take those pictures, show us your medal pictures, your smiles, your PBs, your, just everything. Show us everything. Yeah, let us know in the comments which ones you are racing with us and of course yeah. give us a tag at Run Through UK, hashtag Run Through UK so we can have a little nosy at what you will get up to at the weekend. But of course we will be there so if you do see us, give us a little wave, let us know how you're getting on, let us know how your race get on and of course as we said take those pictures because we want to see you on the Wall of Fame. <laughs> Um, so I think that's everything, apart from, of course, the wonderful quote, we cannot forget the quote. Um, so this one was a really good one, I thought resonated with myself, so hopefully you all enjoy. 
There is no magic to achievement. It's really about hard work, choices and persistence. Also from Michelle Obama, which is really cool. But yeah, hopefully this quote will resonate with you and your training. Um, I really liked that one. Uh, how about you, Andy? What's your yeah, thoughts? It's a good one. It's like the hard work paying off, isn't it? Like, exactly. You put in the work and you get the magic. Yeah. It's all about putting the work in, otherwise you're not going to get it if you don't even start trying. So exactly. there we go. Wise words as always. Okay. Until next week, guys. So see you then. Best of luck. Bye. Bye.